All right, everybody. Happy Friday. Coach Jordan here for 522. 522 Rev. Okay, no string portion today. Just a straightforward, fast-paced, super fun workout. Okay, uh, this is one we would normally do on a Saturday with a partner, uh, but we're going to switch it up a little bit, uh, and you can do it by yourself, okay, because you're probably by yourself, but that's okay. No judgment, all right? Warm-up today, three rounds, five pump stretches, upper dog to downward dog, right? 20 mountain climbers, and five super squats. We've done these before in a warm-up, uh, but I'll talk about those moves. But you're going to go through that three times. That should take you about five to six minutes, okay? I want these pump stretches to feel really, really good, and I want these super squats to feel really, really good. Get your body moving, get it ready, because we kind of have some movements that are all over the place. Uh, gonna hit pretty much every muscle in our body today. Uh, strength, um, cardio, body weight, agility, it's gonna be a little bit of everything, okay? So I wanna make sure that our body is ready for that, okay? Five pump stretch, 20 mountain climbers, 50 or 50, goodness, 50 super squats. Can you imagine? Five super squats, okay? Workout is four seven-minute workouts, and there's a one-minute rest in between, okay? So you're going to spend seven minutes doing these two movements, right? So our first workout is 10 goblet squats, so a squat with weight, and then 10 bent over rows. That's total, so we're going to go five left, five right. Okay, unless you have a barbell, uh, you could do obviously front squats uh, and bent over rows with a barbell. Okay, that would be gnarly. Um, seven minutes, so you're gonna repeat this as many times as you can in seven minutes, a weighted squat and 10 bent over rows. Then this line represents your rest. Okay, so you're gonna do this as many times as you can. Bam, 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 time. One minute rest, give you a chance to recover, catch your breath and get ready for your next workout. Okay, so workout number one, 10 goblet squats, 10 bent over rows, that is total. Okay. Workout number two, eight push-ups, whatever variation you can give me. Uh, I know we had some push-ups yesterday, so uh, this one's meant to be speed, right? The first couple rounds of yesterday's workout, I had you focus on, you know, uh, a, a harder variation. So if you could do a strict push-up, uh, get through those first couple rounds, you know, fight for it. Today is, if you can't knock out eight strict push-ups in a row, go to your knees. These need to be fast, okay? Or a really light uh, floor press, whatever you can give me, eight reps, Move fast, move well, bam. Next movement, which is eight deadlifts. Focusing on good form here. There's nothing wrong with doing fast deadlifts as long as they look good, okay? So 10, 10, eight, eight. You see a, a pattern here, six, six, four, four, okay? The movements become a little bit tougher uh, as we go farther down, so the reps go down, but we're shooting for about the same number of rounds for each workout, right? We shouldn't get eight of these and then three of these at the bottom. So uh, we'll talk about that towards the end, but goblet squat bent over rows 10 of each repeat that as many times as you can for seven minutes minute of rest eight push-ups eight deadlifts um depending on what you're doing obviously the the goblet squat bent over row deadlift might be the same weight if you have something a little bit heavier for that deadlift that's totally fine bent over row probably isn't going to be super crazy heavy neither is your squat okay but we'll talk about that eight push-up eight deadlift repeat that as many times as you can in seven minutes bam rest time okay Workout number three, lots of options here. Uh, I did some abbreviations because there's some longer ones here. Uh, we go to six, six and six. Um, hanging knee raises, if you have a pull-up bar or some ring rows or a pull-up bar over your door. Hanging knee raises, toes to bar, if you have those, six reps. Uh, or a weighted sit-up. For, for most of us that don't have a pull-up bar, um, sit-ups for most of us are pretty easy, especially six reps. If you're like, you know what, coach, six sit-ups is a good number for me and I don't need to add weight, great, let's do it because we're going to get a lot of rounds in here, okay? Uh, but don't be afraid if you can, bring a light dumbbell, kettlebell, um, you know, a couple bags of, of rice or roni, whatever you want, something that's going to slow you down a little bit for these weighted sit-ups, okay? Six and six. Uh, box jumps, uh, if you can comfortably jump to step, you know, two or three on your steps and then step back. I know something to focus on or talk about. That was my focus today with these box jumps. If you don't have a box or you don't have, you know, like a really safe retaining wall or something you can comfortably jump to, um, you can do this on your stairs. Step ups are totally and always acceptable. Uh, but jumping onto, you know, step number two or three versus a traditional box, we're standing just an inch or two behind our box when we go to jump. And, and we don't have to jump very far. We're just assembly, essentially jumping straight up and forward just a few inches. Whereas if you're jumping up to step number three or four on your stairs, you know, you're having to jump 
gosh, you know, a foot and a half or whatever it may be as far as distance. So if you're doing that, if you're comfortable doing that, great. Otherwise, be cautious. Um, you can always substitute this out for some jump rope work uh, or marching in place. There's lots of options here. But if you want to get some jumping in and you don't have a box, there's an option for you. Okay, but try out a couple before you, you know, knock out 40 of them in a workout. Very last one, four burpees, four skaters. That's going to go fast, friends. I want you to get a lot of burpees in. Always getting some burpees in on Friday. It's a great conditioning piece. It's going to get you more fit. So then we're back in the gym doing burpees. You're going to be faster than you were before. Okay? So one more time. Four seven-minute workouts, one-minute rest between each one. Okay? Ten goblet squats, ten bent over ropes. Eight push-ups, eight deadlifts. Six core movement exercise. Hanging knee raises, toes to bar, weighted sit-ups, regular sit-ups. Uh, you could do leg levers. You could do leg lifts. Give me something for your core there. Okay? And then six box jumps or step-ups. Last one, four burpees, four skaters. Let's talk about everything real quick. Make sure you can see me here. Perfect. All right, so um, palm stretch, we're all pretty familiar with that, right? So downward dog, sending my head through my shoulders, butt stays nice and high. And then when you sink down, keep your hips off the floor, squeeze your butt. When I squeeze my, you can see from there, I can squeeze my butt, that's pretty cool. When you squeeze your butt, you're protecting your lower back, okay? Hold each position for a few seconds. Get a good stretch in. I always forget how slippery this floor is. Uh, mountain climbers, we're all familiar with that movement. Uh, 20 reps, just warming up those ankles, warming up that posterior chain, getting those shoulders and core warm as well. We're gonna hit everything today in this workout. Super squats, we've done these before, but I'll talk about them again. Just outside shoulder width, fingertips underneath your toes. Get your butt down as low as you can. I'm a little tight today. Urgh, try to get that chest up, hold that for a few seconds. Keeping your fingertips underneath your toes, you're gonna try to push your knees back and away from you. It's gonna stretch out your hamstrings, okay? Spend three to five seconds in each spot. We're gonna go through five of those, okay? You're gonna go through three rounds of those three movements. That might take five to six minutes, that's fine. Good long warm up is needed today, especially no strength. Take the time to warm up well, okay? Goblet squats bent over rows. What did I grab for my equipment today? I thought I had something else. Oh, here we go. My big, super heavy five pound kettlebell, okay? Goblet squats. For those of you who have a kettlebell, this would be ideal. Grab it onto its ears, like you see me here up at the top. Focusing on a good squat, get nice and low, get back up, okay? 10 reps. It's a bigger number, especially you get to those later rounds. Focusing on moving well, have a consistent pace. Bent over rows. If you have a bench, if you have a chair that you can comfortably get yourself on. Right here I have a, a pretty tall bed. I could get myself over, make sure my back is flat. Pulling that elbow towards the ceiling. Okay, keeping my shoulders square and I would switch to my opposite side. Five left, five right. You could also do these freestanding. Kind of like an RDL, keeping my back nice and flat. Pulling five reps on each side. Okay, you can do that with dumbbell, barbell, torpedo. If you have a slam ball, um, let's switch to a shoulder tap and we're gonna double the reps. So instead of a bent over row, you're gonna do 20 shoulder taps, okay? Workout number two, eight push-ups, eight deadlifts. If you can't knock out eight strict push-ups, remember I want you to go to a knee push-up um, just because I want you to get through those eight faster, okay? Give me what you can for eight reps. Or if you're like, you know what, coach, I can only do six at a time, that's fine. Give me a good, consistent push-up number that you can do that's gonna keep you moving so we can get to those deadlifts, okay? Deadlifts, we're all familiar with this one, but make sure butt is down enough so I can pull my back in nice and flat. <sighs> Finishing by squeezing my butt. All right, you don't need to see my top half for me to do a deadlift right, okay? What you'll not, what you'll not see is me pushing my hips forward, right? My shoulders are behind my hips. I can feel that in my lower back, right? You'll sort of see this, this ankle mobility that I have, which is pretty great because I'm shoving my hips forward and my knees come forward as well. When I'm at the top of a deadlift, my knees are locked, my butt is squeezed, my hips are locked. I don't need to go any farther past this, okay? So to the floor, flat back, squeeze, <laughs> done. That's my finished position, okay? Eight push-ups, eight deadlifts. Hanging knee raises, toes to bar, weighted sit-up. Regular sit-ups are totally okay, full range of motion. Bring a little bit of weight with if you can. Otherwise, if you have a pull-up bar, toes to bar, hanging knee raises would be a great option, okay? Six box jumps or step-ups. Talked about that a little bit. If you have a box, great. If you have stairs, step-ups are great. Jumps on stairs can be a little unsafe, so make sure you're stable with that movement, especially if there's carpet on them. Um, make sure you're comfortable with that movement before you do 40 of them, 
right? Same at the gym. I'm not, I'm, if we introduce a new movement, we're not going to do 100 of them the first day, okay? Uh, workout number four, after your next minute rest, four burpees, four skaters. Burpees we're familiar with. I don't need to get all sweaty showing you that. But the skaters, remember, that is an agility movement where you're going side to side. I'm super afraid to do these fast on this rug because it's washed out on me a time or two. But essentially, you're going to keep your shoulders square. It's a hop to one direction. And then my opposite foot, as you can see, is just going to go behind me. And I'm going to tap my toe, but I'm going to try to keep my shoulders square. So it's hop, tap. Hop, tap, hop, tap. And you can take a bigger hop than what I'm doing. I'm just trying to keep myself within my camera angle. Okay, but it's essentially a hop. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Bam, get back down and do my burpees. Four and four, that round's gonna be fast. You're gonna be tired. You're gonna be like, this should be three seven minute workouts, not four, but it's gonna be great. Okay, if you folks have any questions about this Friday's workout, please let me know. Get signed up for outdoor classes. Uh, we want to keep filling those up, keep people coming to the gym. If you're comfortable with that, we'd love to see you. I should be coaching next week, so you'll probably see me early morning, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, maybe some 10s. We'll see. Okay, But I'd love to see some of your faces next week. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great Friday and a great holiday weekend. Thanks, y'all.